And where do we, what do we think about Josh Rosen? What is mm. the state of the union? Where do we rank him among that rookie quarterback class? You know, it's so early, and there's such a tight pack in terms of their play. I'm just going to give it my own spin. In pure watchability, like the guy I want to watch on yeah. Sunday, I'm having him number one. I love him. I've talked about his facial expressions. He did, you know, he, in that win they got, he did the giant sledgehammer celebration, which he went on Twitter and dubbed the Hebrew Hammer. I follow him on Twitter. But Josh Rosen's the guy I want to watch. I like Allen. I like Baker. But I'm putting him at number one most watchable right now. I'm going to give him an incomplete because I think he's not been helped at all. I, I think. You're that teacher. Omar. Yeah, <laughs> do it. Omar mentioned it. Um, I don't think Mike McCoy is doing him any favors with this offense. It's very pedestrian. And you look around, and Sam Darnold has Jeremy Bates, who's this offensive wizard. Yeah. Josh Allen is Brian Dable from the Belichick tree. And right. Baker Mayfield is Todd Haley. We're seeing handoff up the middle, handoff up the middle, screen back. It's the most boring offense mm, in the league. Talk about so it. I need to see what he can do when they open things up, and they haven't done that yet for him. Well, I'll take that handoff. Speaking of handoff, that, that means where's the running game? It's, mm. for watching that offense, it's like walking into a house party and there's no music. Where's the DJ? Come on now, DJ, let's go. DJ. Where's David Johnson? So, mm. for me, that would help a rookie when you have struggles on offense and you have him trying to figure it out. All these guys are, like you said, it's su such a tight pack. They're all under 60% in their completion percentage. Uh, but when it comes to watchability, I'll go Josh Allen more than anyone. Really? Because that Josh thing Allen's is either going to be absolutely amazing yeah. or a little bit of a dumpster fire. <laughs> Mine's not watchability. I look at it as far as impress like being impressive. We all say Sam Darnold's a robot, right? He just yeah. throws an interception and keep, keep going. I like his resiliency, right? So, he gets it's upstaged by Baker Mayfield. He faces the Jags, yeah. has a really tough game against them. But then back-to-back -back wins over the Broncos, over the Colts. Against yeah. the Colts, he completed 80% of his passes. He's looking yeah. good. And let's not pretend his supporting cast is some, you know, all-pro right. mm -hmm. level players. He's, you know, they're all rising to the occasion together. Jeremy Bates, obviously a huge factor of that. But I like Donald. And he's on the right side of the touchdown-interception ratio. Mm -hmm. Nine touchdowns to seven interceptions for so a rookie. That's, That's good. Really good.